Looky, looky what we have here. It's going to get new strings eventually. Somebody removed the sticker on the inside. But wait till we get to where the headstock is. Let me tell you where this was found. My wife calls me. He was outside walking the dog and said, Someone threw away a guitar. I was like, Well, let me check it out. And by the time I got to the garbage can, Oh, look at that! Busted that right off, didn't he? No. Maybe somebody can tell me what particular one this is. I've looked at a couple different ones and I still haven't quite decided what brand. Since somebody removed the uh, that little paper sticker from the inside, it was square, I can tell that much. I don't know. There's some numbers in there. Maybe somebody can tell what those are. It's got to be a date or something. The rest of it isn't that bad off. Truss rod works. Got a few bangs here and there. And it looks like it's loose, but I yank on it and nothing's moving, so... I don't get it. It was filthy too. I cleaned it with some simple green. As far as I can tell, it's either a humming, it's got to be a hummingbird copy. But, uh,. I'm not sure whose copy. <laughs> the only thing I can get from it is the. When we get to the headstock, you'll see it's got a made in Korea on the headstock. Let's see here. I've already got that. We put some. Uh, Tight bond in it. There was a couple of cracks in the side of that. Use my uh, method I seen Dave use. Now we're leaving this overnight to let that part dry and then go from there. All the tuners work. This is the bridge. It's missing one of the adjustment screws, but from the way it looks, once the strings are on, it probably it's probably going to be high anyway, but we'll see. I don't know if that sheds any light on the particular brand. Tuners don't seem to be very expensive there. Let's see. Pull one out. That's what we got for tuners. Focus. Might have a guy that um, I know that builds guitars help me with the rest of the putting the rest of the headstock back on, but we'll see. Maybe he can just give me a few more directions. I know I need to get more clamps though. I do not have enough clamps. But I put an ass load of glue in that in the crack before uh, clamping it down. And uh, we'll see. It'll either be strong enough or it won't be. I still got to fill a huge hole in because, of course, there were some chips missing. We'll have to build that back up. Maybe I can get some... Uh, maybe I'll get some automotive... Um, 
I like that old fashioned gorilla hair and fill the whole one with that. But we'll see. Maybe somebody can give me some suggestions what they think might work better. And uh, here's the back of it with the uh, the made in Korea sticker on there. Focus, you son of a. Of course, it's going to give me a hard time. Put my finger in a shot, maybe it'll focus. Sometimes that helps it. There we go. Made in Korea. I'm not really sure of the date, but we'll see. The piece that fits back on there fits on there nice and neat. It's just missing some wood. It's probably gonna have an effect on the um, overall strength, but we'll see. It either will or it won't. Pretty guitar though. Somebody really did a number on it. Maybe they fell on it, I don't know. It was filthy. Oh. Looked like it had mildew on the outside, but that simple grain took it right off. Oh well. Maybe I'll do the frets before I put it back together. Clean them. There's not a lot of divots in them. Rusty though, a little bit. Well, we'll see where she goes from here. Everybody have a good one. Later. And uh, happy Halloween.